I'm having a hard time. Uh, I learned last night of Toriyama's passing, and um, I wouldn't be sitting here right now if it wasn't for him. So much of my life was defined, uh, and my identity was defined by the work of Toriyama. Um, even getting into One Piece, I would have never gotten into One Piece if it wasn't for Dragon Ball. So. I'm a little bit shook right now, um, but I did create the product that I would say that I'm the most proud of in my life um, for One Piece stuff. So I wanted to share it. It's releasing today. I'm going to cut my face out of the video and just focus on the cards for this one because I'm, I'm not feeling totally like myself today. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is it. This is the manga deck. It comes with this playmat. This is the playmat I used at Nats, and this is actually the deck I used at Nationals also. Uh, each deck comes with a, a Joku logo and, and it says Kaizoku cards, and it has this uh, print on it, Joku DMD X1819 Kaizoku cards manga deck. So this was a collaboration I did with HZ19, and uh, the deck boxes have a nice soft inside. Um, the decks are all completely sleeved, so they come with a Dawn deck also, a 10 card Dawn deck that is uh, Luffy's first appearance in the manga and um, in his Jolly Roger and there's a pretty cool texture on there. So there's 10 of these and the mangas have a special back on them, or, I'm sorry, the Dawn have a special back on them, uh, Kaizoku cards limited manga deck. Um, this is not on the back of the cards, this is just on the back of the Dawn deck, because the Dawn deck is meant to be used either like, you can use it in clear sleeves or just use it just without, I like using them without sleeves at all, um, but the deck you need to have in sleeves obviously, so these are the sleeves, um, it comes with five extra sleeves just in case anything happens, and if anything ever, if you ever kind of went down on sleeves you could always hit me up, it's not like, there aren't many of these available, there's only ten, only ten available. Um, and then the leader is really sick. So the leaders are serialized. There's only 10 of these that I made. Um, yeah, the leaders have a special back also. All this I worked on with HZ19. We did this project together. Um, so this is the leader. I just love this art and I love this leader. I think it's always going to be a fun leader to play. And then the deck is a full manga proxy deck. So it's all sleeved in the sleeves. And we have four copies of Fiery Doll, the ace in the deck. There's four copies of Bad Manners Kick Course, because there's a lot of uh, non-counter cards, so this card really helps. Four Manga Robin. Four Manga Makino. Uh, four Manga Diable Jambe. Four Manga Otama, super cute hyper cute four gold manga luffy so this i do have a manga luffy available on kaizoku cards the gold manga luffy is only available in the manga deck uh, i thought that was kind of cool exclusive because i love this card i love this art just such a good such a good card um four uh 2k counter sanjis and four manga white beards oh also the 2k counter sanji this is also only available in the deck on the site i have this art as the blocker sanji for uh sd or op4 so this is the op1 uh, sanji which i actually kind of think the red like looks better with him overall but anyway there's uh four white beard there's two of the rush sanji there's a, these are available on kaizoku cards also if you ever wanted to get more and change the ratios in the deck because pretty much everything else is four uh four rad beams four rush zoros and four namis so that's the deck it comes with uh 50 cards a leader a dawn deck deck box customized the play mat that i used cloth stitched and they're going up for sale at 4 p.m eastern today so if this is something you want i would recommend being on the site at 4 p.m eastern um they're are only a few available. This is a very complicated thing for me to make and I really poured a lot of my heart and soul into it. But yeah, that's the manga deck. I made it. 
my deepest condolences out there to every Dragon Ball fan. The world lost an amazing creator. I'm not doing a dental tooth tip for this one. I, I think I want to focus more on this. Um, you know, Dragon Ball Toriyama created an amazingly fantastical world. And uh, the way that he envisioned the world that he created was something that I think really helped me dream and create my own world. And um, just seeing the way in which he had his characters be towards one another. You know, originally he was a uh, comic, a, a comedy artist. He, he wrote Dr. Slump, which was a big gag comedy. And he wrote Dragon Ball from a place of not needing to find success, but of wanting to do something that he was passionate about. And, you know, if you look at Goku as a character, he always kind of, he's cool, he's stupid, he's funny, um, but more than anything, he's funny. And, and sometimes he, he's so cool that it is funny or he's so funny that it becomes cool and i think that's a really valuable line to tell as a human is recognizing that like you can be fun you can laugh at yourself you can laugh at things it's not not everything is so serious and i think you know the english version of dragon ball was converted to a maybe a more serious style um, or something that appealed to a more, you know, 14 year old boys that were fighting, which is what I watched when I was a kid. But when I got into the Japanese one, I realized how much of a comedy it really was and how funny of a character Goku is. And that's where my YouTube name comes from, Joku. It's because I like the jokes of Dragon Ball and I love Goku. So that's where that's where the name Joku came from. Um, but yeah, we, we are... Uh, he was too young. He was 68 years old. It's very, very young. And um, we're, we're very fortunate to have the stories that he left with us. And fortunately, he did find an apprentice and, and trained Toyotaru well. And the Dragon Ball Super manga is really good. And I think his stories will continue. Um, but the original Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, there, there will always be something very special about those stories. And, and, and even in One Piece, I think Luffy takes after Goku a lot in that he, he protects his friends and he's willing to protect places that he hasn't, he's not necessarily from, but he believes that he can help people that need help. And that's what the world needs, is people like that. So they're great stories to read because I think they can aspire, inspire you to be the way that these characters are, because they're amazing characters. Um, so to all the Dragon Ball fans out there and all the anime and manga fans in general, the, the community lost arguably its greatest pillar on March 1st, 2024. So thanks for checking it out. Thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope if this is something that you enjoy, that you can enjoy this thing that I made, they'll be going live today. So check them out. Oh, I'm gonna be doing case openings of set six also. I'll try and cheer myself up and get psyched for that because I am psyched for set six. So hopefully I'll have one of those videos out either today or tomorrow or soon. So come back to check it out.